welcome back to my channel. I don't know if this is going to be part of a vlog, I don't know if you can hear it properly, uh, or if I'm going to do a separate video, I'm not sure yet, but basically I felt like I had to record this moment. It, it, I am outside the Love Sport Radio studio and I'm going to make my studio, radio studio debut with Last Word on Spurs for the Spurs fans show on Love Sport Radio. So I am very excited. It's a two hour show, so this will be very different. Um, obviously a lot more set and with the host. I mean, Ricky's obviously a host of the podcast, so this, the style won't be too um, unfamiliar, but it'll be different. So yeah, uh, I'm very excited. We're obviously going to talk about like the Sheffield United game for the men's, but more importantly, the game getting up for the women's on the weekend, which is North London Derby. And I am super excited. So yeah, um, that was pretty much it from me. And come on, you Spurs. Morning, everyone. It's currently Friday the 15th of November. I am on my way to see Titan because to shuffle my plans around a little because if it all goes according to plan I should be on BBC Radio London tonight so hopefully that's all confirmed I'm going to need to double check with the woman I spoke to but that's why I'm going to see Titan now in the morning and then hopefully go to the BBC studio in the evening to talk about all things Spurs women it's for the women's sports show so yeah I thought I'd do a quick video if this works out, you'll see this, and then you'll see another clip later. Bye! I am just making my way to the BBC Radio London Studios, and I'm so excited. Oh, I've been very quiet about this, just because I always prefer talking about my achievements afterwards than like making a big deal out of them and something goes wrong or why I I don't like jinxing things. I like talking about my achievements after they've happened. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go and find this place, get in, get sorted and kill the show. So you can see the BBC studios right there. I just finished for being part of the women's sports show and it was really exciting and I can't believe two days, two radio shows. This has been incredible. So yeah, I'm even I'm buzzing even more for Sunday now. <sighs> Up the Spurs, come on you Spurs. Right, I thought I'd add a bit more um, to this video because I didn't really explain everything. I was too excited um, about yesterday and today. So yesterday was really good. I or um, well, Thursday because I don't know when this, when you're watching this. So the Love Sport um, show was really good. It was obviously two hours long, very different format. Uh, there were four of us in the studio: Charlie, the host, Ricky Sachs from Love Sport and Spurs, Jason McGovern from Love Sport and Spurs, and myself. Um, and it was brilliant. As I said, it was a two-hour show. We had callers in, we had uh, topics to talk about, and we talked about all things from like, the Sheffield United game to Potch's future, Danny Rose, Levy, and obviously Spurs Women, which was the main reason I was invited on there. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, this is really dark. I don't know, can't do anything. No, no street lights. Way street light. Um, and then today, and that actually, yesterday I got. Um, contacted by the BBC to see if I could go on to the uh, to go on the women's sports show um, and it aired from 7 to 8 they had a netball player on there and some other people in the first uh, half an hour and the second half there was myself and Maria who is an Arsenal fan she is she's inspirational I must say she is 80 years old she's just celebrated for 80th birthday this year. Um, she will be celebrating going to the men's game uh, for 70 years next year. And she's last 12 years, she's been going to men's team, women's games, and under 23s, all of them. All of them. She's a really, she's a lovely person. She says that what her, she's most passionate about singing, which haha, I can relate to. Um, she loves making up songs for the players. She loves uh, encouraging kids to sing. So she was really lovely to talk to and the show was brilliant. I'm just really honored and grateful that I got chosen for this opportunity and it was a nice show. Um, so that's it, two days, two radio shows in studios. I'm blown away. At the beginning of the week, I knew I'd have one and then the BBC one came up as well. And it's incredible and I thought I had to document this. This probably won't be the best video in the world but I just have to do something. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And of course, we've got the massive North London Derby on the weekend. Things are really hyping up for it. I think the South Stand sold out. Sold out. I think most of Level 1 sold out. Arsenal have sold out their 3,000 ticket allocation, so it's gonna be a big game. 
Come on, you Spurs. <laughs>